Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw. A local boy makes good and becomes great, and now he's encouraging our youth to do the same. Kerry Colbert joins us, a familiar face with his NFL football career with the Denver Broncos, Seattle Seahawks, Detroit Lions, Carolina Panthers. He's a free agent. Now, anybody else I'm leaving out? No, not yet. <laughs> Looking Maybe, forward to yeah, your next assignment, yeah. wherever Maybe that may be. Thing, yeah. Hopefully someplace warm. Yeah. Good to see you, Kerry. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You are an alumni of the Boys and Girls Club. Tell us about that. Yeah, I grew up in the Boys and Girls Club. Um, you know, that's actually where I got my start in football. I actually played in a Boys and Girls Club uh, flag football league and, um, you know, I was involved in basketball and, you know, the after school programs. You know, I spent a lot of my time going there after school. Both of my parents work full time, so the Boys and Girls Club provided a place for me to go after school and, um, you know, I, homework and I did everything at the Boys and Girls Club and my parents picked me up on the way home and um, you know so I've kind of been involved in it you know for a real long time. It became a second home to you didn't it? Oh yeah you, it you're definitely was. from Oxnard, yeah. born and raised here right? Yeah born and raised in Oxnard and the Boys and Girls Club you know I, they had a lot of you know great staff and people that worked there and you know a lot of mentors and you know built a lot of relationships and friends and so it was a good place for me and you know it kept me kept me busy you know it was a real positive place for me to be and, uh, you know, I always look back on that experience and I always appreciate it so much. And it's still part of your life. Tell us about this Be Great campaign. Well, the Be Great campaign is, is, is a campaign that, you know, we're trying to get um, a lot of community involved in uh, the campaign and trying to get alumni to come back and trying to get volunteers to help out. We're trying to get donors, you know, to help out as well, trying to get kids to come, you know, and be a part of Boys and Girls Club. And it's really uh, focused on you know, being great and being dedicated and, you know, being whatever you want to be. And just really uh, the Boys and Girls Club kind of facilitates uh, an environment for the kids to be great. It gives people to help you, you know, lead you in the direction of where you, you know, see yourself or where you want to be. And uh, so that's kind of, you know, where, how it works out. And it's, it's really doing well. And we're really trying to encourage a lot of, of youth to continue to come out and be a part of it. It's a second home after school because otherwise the kids have a lot of time on their hands, don't they? They can oh, yeah. get into trouble. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's the good thing about the Boys and Girls Club. I mean, it keeps kids, you know, off the street. Um, you know, it's a real positive place for kids to be, um, you know. Uh, it's affordable, too. What is it, uh, $15 yeah. per child annually? Yeah. But, of course, if there's an economic hardship, yeah. then provisions can be made. Yeah, so it's a, you know, it's a place for kids and um, $15 a year and, you know, there's so many programs. I mean, there's they teach you with uh, technology. They have the computers and you know music programs and you know photography. And there's so many different programs you can be involved in sports, you know, leagues and so many activities and field trips and stuff. So you know, uh, for fifteen dollars, I mean, it's it's really a win and uh, it's really positive. You were involved in a lot of things before your football career, uh, even bowling. Yeah. I was a bowler once upon a the time. The Wagon Wheel League? Yeah, I was in the Wagon Wheel. That was actually <laughs> one of the first sports that uh, you know I was involved in. And uh, every Saturday, I actually was doing t-ball and bowling at the same time. And we would uh, go from the bowling league to uh, Bowling Springs Park and, and play in the baseball game. So I still bowl now. I have my own ball. And I, I like to go bowling and, you know. Wow. Yeah. What's your average score? Average? I don't know. My high school. I'll give you a high school. <laughs> okay. I've been in the twos a couple of times. Wow. 200, you know, so. Yeah, you might consider a career bowling. And then in addition to that, getting home and playing the saxophone. See, all these things that you didn't know about, Carrie. Yeah. I actually, you know what? I played the saxophone in elementary school. And uh, just recently, I just bought a guitar and I'm taking guitar lessons. So I'm trying to, you know, learn yeah. a couple of different instruments still to this day and um, see how, you know, good I can pick them up. Well, you're an exemplar mentor, I'm sure, to many of the youth, and I'm sure you had yours, people that you looked up to and aspired to be as a yeah. child. Yeah, there was a Jerry Rice uh, nationally was, you know, a guy that I really aspired to be like, you know, San Francisco 49ers are my favorite team growing up, and Jerry Rice was a get, uh, great guy, and then Ronnie Jenkins locally, too. He Gary, was a, thanks so much for joining you. us here on Local Edition, right. and the best of luck to you. Thank you. We thank you so much. This has been Local Edition. We'll see you next time right here. I'm Bella Shaw.